Hi everybody, this is Lee of CJ and Drill. What we have here is we have nails, screws, and a screw and a nail. Now, one of the questions I get all the time is, which is stronger, a nail or a screw? So believe it or not, that's not a question that's easily answered. So let's start with nails. Nails are superior when it comes to sheer strength. So what's sheer strength? Well, let's, I'm gonna close my hands up like this and say each hand is, represents a piece of wood and I nail that wood together. Sheer strength is how strong the bond is moving laterally. And nails are superior because nails won't snap. They'll bend. They'll give as a structure shifts. And that's what makes nails superior when it comes to construction. Now here's the thing with screws. Screws have really incredible strength when it comes to tensile strength. And it creates a superior bond between two pieces of wood. When you screw two pieces of wood together like this, it's very difficult to pull them apart. Not side to side, but apart. A screw creates a superior tensile bond. Now what I have is I have three pieces of wood that are being held together with a screw, okay? And screws have superior tensile strength, as I indicated earlier, over nails. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a hard knife and I'm gonna try to work it in there, okay? to try to pry it apart. And as you can see, I got a little movement, but I was unable to pry it apart. So here we have a nail in the center, of, in this case, four blocks of wood because the nail was a little long, all right? Now I'm gonna take my hard knife here and I'm gonna wedge it right here and I'm gonna just try to pry and see what happens. And you see, that's why a screw is stronger than a nail when it comes to a tinsel bond. Now I'm gonna show you, I wanna to demonstrate to you why nails are superior when it comes to sheer strength. Now anyone that's driven a nail has hit the nail incorrectly and wound up bending it bending it over like that. It doesn't really matter how big the nail is, it'll bend. It won't break. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm gonna take some pliers. I'm gonna bend it back and forth. Notice it, it doesn't break. I'll do the same thing with the nail that I just got finished bending. I'll do the same thing with the nail, or try to. It bends, it gives, and that's why it's so good at sheer strength. Okay, so when it comes to screws, screws are very brittle. Even though they're strong in terms of tensile strength, in terms of sheer strength, they will snap in a heartbeat once there's any kind of lateral movement. Let me show you what I mean. Sometimes it takes a couple times, so I'm gonna bend it, and it snapped just once. I'm gonna come over here to this drywall screw, and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I will tell you right now that that has snapped. Look at that. And that's why screws don't do a great job when it comes to structural strength. Now, two things that I showed you in the very beginning were things that we didn't talk about. Maybe you recognized them, but maybe you didn't. And what it is is a drive pin. That's what I'm holding here and a structural screw. So I brought you in close so you could see this drive pin. That's what this is here. Now the interesting thing is it looks like a nail, but you don't use a hammer on it. You use a tool called a powder actuated tool to drive the nail in, usually in steel or concrete or block. Now here we have our structural screw. 
Now, the thing about structural screws is that they're very, very expensive. And if you were to build a structure using this screw, it would be incredibly pricey compared to a box of nails. Not only that, and this is where we start going down the rabbit hole with actually both fasteners. This structural screw building codes come into play, and that's when it starts to get very, very complicated. So I just wanted to touch on drive pins and structural screws kind of lightly because they're specialty fasteners. So to recap, nails are great for construction because of shear strength. Remember, they'll bend, but they don't break. And screws are really superior when it comes to tensile strength. They're not going to back out of whatever you bring together. That's why they're great for drywall and they're great for stair treads. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully this answered some questions about, you know, what's stronger, nail or screw, and covered some of the basic principles about tensile and shear strength. So when you go to choose a nail or a screw for that project, you'll know which one to grab, right? Which one to use. Now, I will say this, there are other factors that play into tensile strength and shear strength, but this was just a basic overview, okay? This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.